Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? It doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. <laughs> the old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. And <laughs> maybe my carpets are magical. <laughs> Give your old man some credit, Marwin. I might surprise you yet.
colonizer in Egypt. Sir, you need clearance to pass through. In fact, is that a unicorn on the top row up there? Definitely get me one of those, please. Oh, what a fine choice. Let me send my assistant to this doctor. Please, it will only take ten minutes. Have a look around in the meantime. Mr. Henry is a lunatic. No, hey, he what's is up? capitalism. I mean, that's what we all want this day and age, right? Not me. That's a load of rubbish. What, did, what should we do? If Crystal Dog get involved? The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Sir, I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. Sorry. Hello, sir. Welcome. Shop today, sir. I am so honored by your visit to my humble stall. Let me show you my fine pots and plates.
Greetings, Mr. Printman. About time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. Greetings, Mr. Printman. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prison. I hear they were close, so what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed in the first attack. So, yeah, he got called weak and he got called Down 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what did he do? Prisoner. Uh, never even mind. General Zaydan said the man's a traitor. Attention, everyone! That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. Crystal Dawn are on everyone's lips. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running! Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what did he do? Prisoner, uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man's a traitor, and that's all he's doing. Attention, everyone! That is General Reza Zaydan, so keeper Crystal of the Crystal Dawn are on everyone's lips. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. General Zayden. What? No. Oh! Command, you copy? Sounds like there's some Target reason down. why you Move on to Klaus Strand. You, you must have heard that.
Impressive 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Hello, soldier. Massage expert Connie Engstrom. Hey, soldier. Report at the reception desk. That was yeah, that's Connie right. Engstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Soldier. I salute you, soldier. Private. Understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. But except for your late predecessors. Comp? But this plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. We 
it seem is like a conspiracy, probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. Thank <laughs> you. 